Okay, hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. Today, I got a surprise for you. We're going to unbox the Rode Stream X. I found a good price on Amazon. I'll link uh, the affiliate link down below if you want to get yours. Let's go do the unboxing and then we're going to go have a look at the features and why you should consider it for your content workflow. Grab your cuppa, find the comfy seat. Let's do this. Let's go look all the ports from left to right. We have the five volt that goes into the wall. Then we have USB-C that goes into PC number two, PC number one. That's if you have a two PC setup, HDMI through, HDMI in, audio jack, and then you got your XLR plug at the bottom. You have the screw hole to put in onto a stand. If you're not having, instead of sitting on your desk, you want to put it on a pedestal, then you have the mic button that you can press to mute or turn it up and down. This is the gain of the microphone. Then you have the volume of your headphones going up and down. And then you have, if you press this button, if you move the mic with this one, you will remove and put on the camera again. Those are macro pads. We'll talk about them in a minute. And then this is to go through the pages of the micro pad because you have up to six pages of micro pad so it's not only four you have four by six and that's how you go through from page to page very quickly now for the software you just have to go on road com which is the name of the company the manufacturer the stream x you just have to click on the apps and then you will see a few apps just click on unify which is the software that we're going to use and download for windows or for mac that depends on your operation system and now i'll show you what it looks like now when you first open it you will see something like this first one is the microphone that goes into the xlr port that you can have wireless microphones because Roy has got some wireless microphone if you own or thinking of buying a wireless microphone from Rode you can connect it to the streamer x and to Rodecaster duo and all the other mixes from Rode but make sure that you check on the website to make sure that the microphone is compatible with the Rode x but let's say most of them are then you have the audio from the HDMI so if you have your camera connected or your console connected you can add the volume as well from there then you have your system sound is the one that is connected to windows chat as we already said is the mix that goes to and from discord gilded then you have your music so if you have the mca free music make sure spotify apple music that's where you can change the volumes of your music separately from everything else the volume of your game you have browser and you have virtual so you can add a virtual out from another program that you use and then if you have a headset connected you can also add it to the mix so to remove it just exit to put it back on you just have to drag it on easy isn't it <laughs> once you have set that up what it is here is all the different sources that we saw in the settings before this is where they come in and level of customization is high just make Make sure that you don't get confused at the top so when you click on stream this is the mix that is going into your stream headphones if you have headphones connected through the port at the back of the stream at x and then your recording settings so this is my recording setting for example and then you have monitor which is the headphones that are connected to your computer and you can select them so for example i have my artix 2 pro wireless game i choose them to keep it on monitor but 
if I want to, I can listen to any of the other settings. <laughs> Took me a little while to figure it out, but just make sure that it's on so it's not muted. Those are the pads. If you click on one and when it's selected, it will show you as well which pad is it on the actual device pad that you are selecting and you can change it. So we go, for example, to yellow and here it is. And you can change the effect. You can put it on robotic for example i'm happy to leave it as a sound so here i hope it's not too loud <laughs> but yeah there you go you have four pads by four so it means you have 16 pads that you can use for sounds voice mods sort of thing modified your voice i'm sure with the new they will add more effects for now they're not a lot but they're just enough and it's not an actual window so you can't physically in it anyway but to be completely honest with you it doesn't really matter as long as it does what it said it does also if you right click on the microphone it will give you all the effects when you will get it it will probably be probably be like this so i just have to click on advanced and then process it and it will change to this so it will be active and you can change the noise gate the compression and they work really good exciter bypass filter and you can equalize it to your voice and also it goes by ear i highly recommend you to put some headphones on and start listening to your voice until you get it where you wanted it to be and this is the microphone that is connected via xlr which is mine if you have the wireless microphone you can just click on the side and it will you'll be able to change the one on the wireless one as well all right last impressions guys what do i think about the streamer x the streamer x is cool it's very very cool it does look beautiful i do have a couple of notes now first of all this is funny actually at least for me road is an australian company i bought the streamer x on the amazon australia how i got it shipped with the english plug <laughs> so i gotta go and buy a australian plug separately that that's not an issue because you can still use it without the plug of course they recommend you with the plug that's probably as well the reason to my second thought the camera doesn't work the capture doesn't work i've tried different methods i went online uh there are a lot of people with this issue i can't say for sure that it doesn't work i still want to wait and try it out with the plug in the wall because video processing is very tough on a cpu so it may not have enough power without the power in the wall so i will put it down below in the comments if as soon as the plug arrives i have ordered it but because i'm in the northern part of australia it takes two weeks to get anything here so i will let you know in the comments if the problem with the video capture was the fact that i didn't plug in the rodex into the power outlet yet so i will definitely keep you posted other than that is it, it, it says what it say it does so it's tiny and that's one of the appeal of a device like this because until before <laughs> this device any mixer or any video capture they were a lot larger in size and also this is the first actually the first device that does both audio and video i'm happy i got it of course if i still have to use my capture card external capture card i'm not very happy but i really hope is the power issue that it doesn't have enough juice to encode the decoder video so i will keep you posted guys but other than that i'm very very happy with this i've been using waveling for so long i've tried voice meter sonar they are all really good but i have to say road unify is at another level yes waveling is sort of a close second but unify gives you a lot more flexibility on settings so you can have a lot more settings depending on the scenario that you find yourself into you have smart pads so you don't need to open up another program like i had voice mod it's inbuilt into the device what do you think was is this a product in your opinion that is going to help you make better content of course you know the content comes from you 
<laughs> so is is not going to affect your content. Obviously, uh, it gives you more tools. So it's a tool. And until next week, happy creating.